You're still watching NBC News. For the latest update now on the COVID-19 situation, I am joined by the Health Minister, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, uh, with an update. Good evening, Doctor. Please go ahead and uh, share with us any new information that you perhaps have. Good evening, and good evening, fellow Namibians. I am informing you of the latest development on the COVID-19 front. We have recorded five new COVID-19 positive cases. These cases are part of the batch that was analyzed yesterday, but could only be completed today. Case number 68 is a 41-year-old Namibian female from Wolf's Bay. She has no known contact with a confirmed case yet. She was swapped on the 20th of June, 2020, as part of active case search. She had COVID-19-related signs and symptoms at the time of swabbing. The result came out positive. Case tracing will continue. Case number 69 is a 45-year-old Namibian female from Wolf's Bay. She has not, no known contact with a, a confirmed case yet. She was swapped on the 20th of June as part of active case search. At that particular time, she had COVID-related symptoms. The result came out positive. Case number 70 is a 59-year-old Namibian female from Wolf's Bay. She is not known to have been in contact with a confirmed case. She was swapped on the 20th of June, 2020, as part of active case search. At the time, she had symptoms consistent with COVID-19. The result came out positive. Case number 71 is a 42-year-old Namibian female from Office Bay. She has no known contact with a confirmed case, as she is part of active case search. She manifested signs and symptoms consistent with COVID-19. The result came out positive for COVID-19. And the last one, case number 72, is a 51-year-old Namibian male, also from Office Bay. He has no known contact with a confirmed case, as he is part of the active case search. He did not have COVID-19 related signs, signs and symptoms. His results came out positive. Overall, as we stand now, we have 72 confirmed cases of which 21 have recovered and 51 active cases. No death has been recorded yet. And the total samples tested now stand at 7,585. And yesterday alone, 101 samples were tested, of which five were positive, as I have indicated. We have now 318 active contacts. The information concerning the quarantine are the same as per my announcement today, this morning. I thank you. Uh, Dr. Shangula, just before you go, five new cases reported, all in Valfis Bay. All of the case, these cases, no known contact with any person that was confirmed COVID-19 uh, positive. Um, a lot of people in Valfis Bay obviously uh, concerned. What are the testing measures that the ministry perhaps is looking at, especially in, in the Valfus Bay area? Because we understand that, that um, some testing, uh, mass testing is targeted for Valfus Bay by Friday. Yeah, let me just explain myself when I say that there is no known uh, contact with a confirmed case. This uh, People, they came to a central point um, last week, and then they presented to themselves, and uh, obviously tests were done on them, and the result came out positive. Now, when the result came, comes out positive, then the team will go and uh, identify contacts. So among the contacts, there might be somebody who is already a known 
uh, positive case. But at the present moment, we do not have that information as the contact tracing has not commenced yet. Now, coming to the strategy which we have for, for the Wolf Bay, uh, I have uh, said on several occasions that we are conducting expanded targeted testing, which will mean, which means that we go into a certain population where there is suspicion for possible transmission, and we do uh, carry out the testing, and as, as, as we are currently doing uh, in uh, in Wolfish Bay, in order to try to identify how many people in that community might have been exposed to COVID-19. Health Minister Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, thank you so much for that update. Thank you very much. And just to have a quick recap of what the minister just said, 72 now uh, confirmed cases in Namibia, uh, 51 of those are active cases. And also um, the Irongo Governor Neville Andre has announced uh, that uh, 2,000 people will be targeted in the Valfus Bay local authority area for COVID-19 testing between the 24th of June and 28th of June. Now, this will be part of the active case identification exercise in the region. We'll bring you uh, more details and a full report uh, in tomorrow's bulletin. So stay tuned to NBC News.